today. I am Anthony Wardrett, and I am here today in partnership with the Boys and Girls Club of Virginia Peninsula and Community Youth Outreach Division. And I'm here today to actually do a paint session with you. And I will be with you for about eight weeks in different models that we will use. And here I'm showing you different things that we will use today, or not necessarily use it, but it's here if you need to use it. But we have a tripod, an easel, table easel. If you choose to use it, you may not have one, that's fine. Uh, we have our flat canvas, which is right here, okay? We have our different paints, okay, and our little palettes that are actually at your local dollar stores, as well as your paints as well, the different types of paints you can use. Doesn't necessarily have to be those, okay? We're gonna have our cup of water, okay? And we have our different brushes, flats, and we have some round brushes, detailed brushes as well. So what you see here is kind of what we're working towards. And the reason why I like fish is because fish are different. So are we. Different colors. And there's really no right or wrong when it comes to a fish. Because fish in the, in the sea are different colors. The water is different colors. So they blend in with their habitat. So that's why I, choose a, uh, I chose a fish today. So that way you wouldn't have really many mistakes or anything like that. You could just be free and do whatever you like to do. And I'm going to start off with a Sharpie. I'm going to start off with a Sharpie because I'm actually going to draw the same thing we have here. I want you to actually see exactly what we're going to be doing today. And I want to, you to, I want to show you how easy this can be. So we're going to start off with a blank canvas like this. So, And I want you to think about shapes. Definitely think about shapes. If you have a Sharpie at home, that's great. If not, use a pencil or a pen. So we're going to start off this image you're going to start off something like a football and many of you know what a football looks like if you want your fish to resemble a, a basketball it can some fish are round some are square <clears throat> some are long short it all just depends so we're going to start off right here at one little point okay that looks almost like an arch or a rainbow starting out then we're going to start off with the bottom as well. Okay, so right now it looks like an oval, but we're going to turn this exactly into a fish. Now we're going to start with the tail. The tail kind of resembles <clears throat> a triangle, but you can add different little variations to that triangle if you like. Okay, then we have a top fin that resembles a triangle as well. Then we have side fins. That could be more of a square. And you have bottom fins as well, which can resemble a triangle as well. Now, if you want to create some character with your fish, I love character. We give them an eye. Now, it all depends on you, how you want that expression to come alive. You can either give him some excitement, or he can be a mean fish, or however you want it. But I choose to give him a little bit of character, so. All right. Now, I want to give my fish a little smile. So I'm going to give him a nice big old smile. Okay, so he's kind of looking at you and he's going to give you a little bit of smile. Showing a little bit of those teeth. Okay, so now we're ready to paint. So what I want to do is I want to take my flat brush, exactly right here, and I want to think about what color do I want my water. One thing about water, water is different colors, you know, based upon where you live at, you know, whether it's hotter or colder, that may have a true effect on your water. So what I want to do is, you have your napkin here, I want to dip my paintbrush into the water just a little bit, not a lot, you know, because you don't want a lot of water and you definitely don't want a lot of paint, okay? So you kind of tip it in there a little bit. I'm going to start off with just a little bit of a blue, okay? I'm going to dip it in with a little bit of more water, because I want to give my water that 
I want to give it that effect like that. Okay, I want to give my water this real nice effect. And as you can see, I didn't use a lot of water and I haven't used a lot of paint. And the reason I do that is so things won't run together. And guess what? This paint goes a long way. All you have to do is just know how to use the brush strokes. Left and right, left and right. And if you happen to go over top of your image, don't worry about that. Because that paint, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show right through the paint. So right here, I have a lighter color. Okay? And I'll get darker because down below, it's a little darker down below the deeper you get into the water. It's a little darker. So we're still using our blue, which we use a darker blue. And I'm still going left to right. Now, as I get further up to the top, closer to where the sun shines, the water gets a little lighter. Because as you can see, that the sun is going to be reflecting off of that. And so once again, don't worry about the color because it's all going to blend together. It's all going to blend together. And I'm still going from left to right. And if you choose to go up and down, that's fine as well, as long as your strokes are very even. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back with my Sharpie and I'm going to create a bubble effect. And how you do the bubble effects is you just do a basic circle. Basic little circle like that, a little small, a little big, you know, big one, however you want to do it. Okay. Now, I brought a sponge. You can find these inside your house or what, you know, if they're not being used. And you can use these to create different effects with your paint. And I'll show you. I'm going left to right a little bit with a little paint, just a little water. And then I just take my sponge and I do something like that. And it just creates a little bit of texture within your water or different things. Okay. So now I'm going to take my smaller brush, which is the round one, and I'm going to use a little black and I'm going to create some different type of plants that are in the water, like seaweed and different type of things. And it doesn't have to be black. It could be whatever color you choose it to be. It's actually in the water. So there's a lot of different things going on in that water and different colors. So I'll come back with a different color, maybe red. Blend in some red. And remember, inside the water, you'll see a, a variation of different things. So it doesn't have to be correct. It's all in what you see and how you, how you view your, your ocean. Now I'm going to actually start on, we're going to start on our fish. I'm going to give my fish a little bit of purple, maybe. Just a little bit of purple, trying to stay within my lines. And I'm using a smaller flat brush. And once again, I'm going left to right. Smooth strokes. And if you find yourself running out of paint, you know, don't stress. Just grab some more paint and just a little bit of water. And try to make it a, a even type of uh, composition. That way, you know, you don't have too much paint and you don't have too much water. As you can see, my paints and my, my water don't run together. So it helps me to be able to paint with a nice little smooth uh, action here. So 
My fish has a little bit of purple going on at the top, okay? So I dip it back into my water a little bit. And let's say I try a little bit of green. Let's try a little bit of green. I want my fish to have multiple colors. Okay, now we're gonna go back with our purple again under the bottom. Stand within our lines. It's almost like a coloring book in a, in a sense. I'm gonna get a little bit more purple. So now my fish, he has a little bit of purple, a little green going on, and he's blending in perfect with my water. Okay, now we're gonna start with his tail. Well, actually his fin, back tail, however you wanna call it. I wanna choose to do a little bit of black. And you can get your smaller detail flat brush or even your smaller round detail brush to actually uh, do this so you can stay within the lines and you can do exactly what you want it to do. And right now my paint is really not that heavy and that's fine because I can always go back over, which you may have to. You may have to go back over and add a second coat if you want your image to be a lot darker. But for me, I don't have to have them dark. I'm going to start on the bottom fin as well. And you'll be able to tell if you're using too much water because it'll start running. And that's something you really don't want to have happen to you. You kind of want to stay with a balance of a little bit of water and a little bit of paint. But you'll be able to tell if it starts to run it, don't worry. You just let it dry. Or you take your paper towel and you kind of damp it a little bit and it'll dry just as fast. Now we're going to start with the top fin. I'm going to give him a little something different on his top fin. I'm, top fin will be a little white. I want you to be able to tell what type of fish this is while he's in the water. Because you'll see that white fin sticking up. Okay. And now we're going to go, we're going to add just a little bit to the bubbles. Just a little bit to the bubbles. A little white to the bubbles. It could be a little bit of blue as well. Now we're going to go to our teeth. Because it does have a little character. Got a little smile going on here. Okay, so forth. Now if you decide you want to give your fish even more character, you can give them some little designs. Maybe within the body structure. Little dots maybe. Because remember, all fish are different, different colors, and a whole lot of things going on.